apply it um, in a way that is accessible even if you don't know those programs exist if you're a new player. And I think that's the third party developers have created all this amazing <coughs> stuff that would be fantastic if we could put it in the game. Um, but at least getting the ideas and being able to make that more accessible to everyone, even like the example of uh, the fitting simulator, it's a toned down version of what's out there, but you just we just can't put all of that in. And also just allowing new people to be able to see what potentially they could get and what's out there, what you guys have created. And I definitely think there's no way we're ever going to uh, replace third party tools with these kind of uh, features because they can always do so much more, uh, partly because they can they have a bit of a higher complexity uh, ceiling than uh, we do, but also just because uh, there's a whole bunch of really talented, smart people thinking about these problems, and they're, they're being very creative um, and coming up with great stuff. And so for power users, I think third party tools for all these areas are still gonna be the way to go. Um, we can just try to borrow, we can take advantage of the great ideas they're having to make the game better. Like for instance, when I talked about redoing the whole uh, core alliance system, all the interfaces, I would love to be able to take some of the things that you currently need to have a like IT department uh, with your alliance to do and move it into the client, but we'll never fully replace that stuff because you'll always be, the alliances with great uh, engineers, uh, creating tools for them will always be able to do extra cool things. Um, and they'll always be steps ahead of us. We can just kind of take some of the good ideas and bring them in as we can. Thank you. I'm uh, um, Anand Montau from uh, Impact Blade and CBA. Um, my question is around uh, missiles specifically. So uh, how do you address the um, balance specifically around the larger missile types where there's such a disparity between the actual uh, and uh, projected damages um, that don't really have any uh, bearing on, on piloting? So for example, obviously you can minimize transversal with the turret, but there's very little you can do to apply most of your damage with the missile if you're shooting at specific ships. Yeah, so that's sort of one of the unique things about missiles is that they, they're a bit less piloting dependent on both sides. So good piloting helps them a little bit less, uh, bad piloting hurts them a little bit, or yeah, but yeah, it hurts them a little bit less as well. Um, and uh, that's something that I think, I think to the only way to remove that would really be to make them be too much like turrets, so I don't think we'd ever want to fully remove that. Um, I think it's always cool when people come up with clever things with the missiles that allow good piloting to have an advantage to like learn to take advantage of the missile flight time to extend their range by uh, flying away from a pilot and having them chase them. Those kind of tactics are always really cool. Um, but um, the, the actual disparity in damage, uh, I think would be great to be able to, to make it clearer why you're doing less damage. And this happens, this is both for, um, uh, for gun tracking as well. With missiles, um, with guns, we don't really do a good enough job of communicating to the client, hey, why, what could I be doing better? Um, you often need to learn that from other players. Um, and that's something I'd love to see us pull in. And that's something that uh, a couple of our UI guys have been very passionate about looking into for a while now. And we've been doing some really cool stuff in the future. I would love to, like, even just simple stuff like, hey, I, you missed with your gun. Is it mostly because he's moving fast or is it mostly because he's out of the it might be partly because of both, but at least give people a hint. Um, and that's, I think it would be great to be able to provide that kind of information. Thank you. All right, uh, that's it for the questions. So uh, Bob, I think you're up next, but first of all, I want to thank both of you very much for a great <laughs> Screen after half. Prices, prices.
<laughs> and we got it to work. Well, if everyone wouldn't surprise me, how that luck. So, we're almost at the end, so let's do the last official round of prizes. Yes. And first couple of prizes will be sponsored again by Eve Radio. Um, and I'm going to stand because it's just easier to look at the screen. Right, so. <laughs> uh, and by CCP Games, and this one is going to be quite awesome. It will be a shirt again from Eve Radio. Uh, it will be a, let me grab it, play. I have never ever actually seen this. It's like a card game, I believe, if I've got CCP Fancy. He knows. Yeah. So you get two of those packs, like two different versions of it, so that's quite cool. And you get one of those uh, EVE art books that we gave away earlier as well. Um, and you have the option to choose a shirt. Like, we have a couple of awesome shirts uh, there. So that's an amazing price. And it was won by Henry Hook, if you are here. <laughs> we're gonna call it please because <laughs> <laughs> that would be too easy. Let's see. Number two ninety nine. Let's see. Let's see. And the price is won by. Uh, is this right price? Yes, it's Morgan Ristrom. Awesome. Right. So, um, the next prizes were sponsored by uh, Macabre Fulton. Did I get it right this time? Awesome. Almost. So uh, they are an MC and so they are uh, also called MV for those guys who know. Um, and the winner of that prize is Steven Stein Yeah, me. I'm uh, Ah. <laughs> are you sure? Because it's like. I don't need this next to you. Why should I take McDonald's and Burger King at the same time. <laughs> no, but then tasty. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I don't know how many of you guys have saw it, but um, I think last week or two weeks ago, I tweeted out the following. What's in the box? What's in the box? This was posted on Twitter. <laughs> Send me five bill, I will triple it, right? So, um, and this was donated by Care for Kids and C4W. Uh, made these nice things that I needed to show, he told me. Um, and ever since then, a couple of people have asked me what's in the box. This is a movie <laughs> reference that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and so I figured it would be too, you know, it would be too fast to like really show you the prize. Of which, I mean, you have to build up tension, right? So uh, let's see who knows a bit about Chips and Eve. Um, so. These are the bonuses. Like, does it get any, like, caffeine? Oh, it's Chameleon. Or maybe this. Yeah. Or, <laughs> like, maybe this. And so it's a comedian. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, this is really awesome. <laughs> and so now the moment of truth. And I really hope that this person is in the audience. Because otherwise, well, that would suck to hear afterwards. It's more time, Hamilton. Give him a round of applause. Fuck. Fuck. So now I only spend rare, then I got the giveaway the other price for the other ticket, and now I win this. I got three flex 
Jackson Barrow, I'm going to give this one away to the next guy, so enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Are, are you declining your chameleon? Are you declining your chameleon? I mean, it's we told that from the beginning. So. Yeah. I gladly trade the first. Yeah, it's the rules. Sorry, man. It's the rules. The rules have to be followed, I guess. That's kind of a big piece, though. I feel so bad right now. I just lost a couple of votes. This is like how uh, Steve Harvey awarded the Miss Universe title to the wrong person. Uh, let's see. I feel so bad now. Uh, um, so it will be 200. Like the next winner will be Paul Slowinski. He is not here. <laughs> I feel also sorry for him. <laughs> oh dear. I think, let me see. You know, I recognize these numbers so now. I feel worse as well. Uh, but I think he wasn't here, maybe. Mark Lemberg. See? <laughs> hey man, I'm using random.org. <laughs> Like you could have been so close. Yeah. Um, let me see. Christoph Bork? Are you here? It's him. <laughs> At least I know at which station this is. <laughs> okay, so um, that was all the prizes. I Congratulate everybody that won a prize. Um, so we're now going to go to like the last closing uh, present break. <sighs> All right. So let's start off with the slide that we began with. And I'm going to sit down for this one because, like, so exhausting. Yes. Wait. I actually brought something for like one. We only brought one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Smoothie. So, I'm very sad, and I think we both and everybody that works for Eastside is very sad. Blue screen. Blue screen. What? Wait, is it blue screen? <laughs> it's everything goes so smooth. Black <laughs> screen. I know, right? So good, so blue. That's really how I feel about you guys. You're all blue to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the yeah, yeah, there we go. So yeah, this was the slide we had up. And sadly, it needs to be changed to this. We really keep going because <laughs> we're almost done. We're almost done. And so we had some fun stories, of course. I'm just gonna sit like this. It started off with a pop roll, unofficial pop roll that we have each year. Yeah, it was a few more people showed up than expected. Just a few. <laughs> Sorry, black Um Then we have people getting tattoos. A uh, big shout out if you got a tattoo. It's, you have a lot more balls than I have, so very cool. amazing. They're very cool. Uh, also, big shout out to the tattoo artist that like did them all. Yes, he's really good. Yes, they are. And they were very <laughs> nice kid, and I think they really liked. Them. Uh, they, they really like this event, so this is the second time they were here, yeah. and I suspect they'll be back next time, in case you want another Eve tattoo. And so if, I've, if I'm remembering which picture I actually blew up, I think CCP Kong had like a, a question asked uh, in this presentation, and I think some of you actually mm -hmm. tried it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and well, that happened. Um, and then the last picture I thought was good to bring up was like, as he's been very to me, this was like the first day, um, and it's the true friendship. And the best ship in EU. Yeah, it's true it's friendship. Like friendship. Yeah. Um, so then we have to thank a few people. First off, we have to thank the company theater. 
Absolutely, yes. They, uh, they provide excellent service uh, they've had for the past three years, and we really couldn't do this without them. So give a round of applause to you. I think it was yesterday, uh, I went to the back room at the party and we, I had a chat with one of the guys that helped us out for the last three years, who's always been here, and he said, like, I asked him some questions, like, how did it go for you guys today, and he said, you guys are all so amazingly chill, like, so, you know, thank you for how you guys approached them as well, they really loved it. Um, then, of course, we have shout outs to all the CCP people that were here, so, uh, the CP Mimic, give them a applause while I'm doing this. CP Mimic, CP Parashar, CP Alright, and then I want to thank all of the player presenters. Uh, of course, I didn't name myself there. Um, so, Caleb, give them an applause. Tarek, or uh, Mark, and I'm uh, We could not have had that many. Awesome presentations without you guys, because you were standing Absolutely. on stage. Um, and then, of course, I want to thank all of the sponsors. See, I had a this time. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, all of the sponsors, <laughs> these are all the organizations. Uh, so, give them an applause there. <laughs> Same for the players, uh, they were amazing. Thank Valentine for all the work he put in. And I want to thank the other volunteers, I mean you and uh, Anna, Hard Time Meets, yeah. uh, everyone that put in a lot of work to make this happen for you guys. We, they, I don't pay them for this, you know. So much fault. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, but um, yeah, it, it, it really helps. And without without this team of volunteers, Yves Sudan could not exist. So the future, we have not announced the dates for next time, Step or no. Step, yeah? I have no idea yet, but it's exactly. It's summer! It's so, summer! We'll see. So, so I, what, what I meant was feel free to contact us. I had a bunch of people that approached me about like, hey, I want to donate a prize, hey, I want to maybe do a presentation. Uh, be sure you contact us. Uh, because then we are able to like schedule you and talk with you and do fun stuff. Uh, and I think you talked about a survey. I usually do a after Eve Sedem survey that I send around. We'll probably give some texts to people that participate. So keep an eye on your mailbox. Yes. And I think that's it. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, as far as the venue is concerned. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of time left here. Uh, you do have some time to go down, maybe have one more drink if you're fast about ordering and drinking it, but after that we really have to vacate the premises. Uh, so thank you all, and this is the end of Lucy 2016.